Okay, Coach, we'll get started with the uh, opening statement. Okay. All right. Appreciate y'all being on here. Um, huge win. Huge win for us. Um, really proud of our players, our staff. Um, we talk about this this week, and it matters how you play. Like, and I'm not talking about outcomes all the time. It just – when you go out and you, and you play this game that – we're extremely uh, blessed to have the opportunity, especially all the, uh, with all that's going on um, pandemic-wise and everything. It matters what you put on tape, and it matters how you, uh, how you, how you play. And the end results aren't always what you want, um, but we can find solace in understanding that it's really important, the effort, physicality um, that you play with. And, and I thought what we put on tape today um, – was was West Virginia football. Um, I thought individually and collectively, I thought our guys laid it on the line. I thought the coaches put them in a really good position to be successful. And I'll start defensively. I mean, zero touchdowns, um, under 300 total yards, really good on third down, especially in the first half. Um, our red zone defense, holding them two field goals and then getting an interception down there was huge. I mean, Tony Fields continues to make play after play. Uh, Tyke Smith, is a guy who's captain for us today, but I don't think he's getting talked about enough. I mean, like, I think he could potentially could be as good at his position as anybody in our league. Uh, X Low stepped in for Josh Chandler today. He took it, huge advantage of his opportunities. Played well in the run in the pass game. And then uh, Sean Mahomes quietly putting together a really strong, strong year. Offensively, um, I thought that that was as efficient as we've played. Uh, controlled the clock, really uh, didn't have to be uh, real, real flashy. Um, thought we set the tone early. You know, we started fast, which is something we, we've been working on. We've been better. Um, but to go 99 yards right out the gate, um, and I thought the we, – we, not that the game – it was still in question for a long time, but that really – we took control of the game right there. Uh, converted several third downs. Zero turnover. Zero turnovers in the game, thought we improved on third down. And then 180 rushing yards. You know, if you looked at us, we held them below their average rushing, and we we went for 180. I think Letty went for the fifth time over 100 and didn't practice all week, kind of got some mental reps, and I thought he held in there and did a nice job. Um, and I thought our offensive line was much improved. Uh, did a good job, especially on the interior. Uh, and then T.J. Simmons was big. Two, two highly contested catches. You know, the receiver's been beat up a little bit, and – and they really put in some consecutive games where they where they played better. And then to make two huge uh, contested catches, TJ, for touchdowns, those were big. And then special teams, you know, I think they do as good a job as anybody in the country in the punt return. And I thought our punt team covered well. Um, Tyler Sumter had his best day, three inside the 20, one inside the five, which was big. Um, we had a, a, a takeaway there where we were able to recover um, a drop punt. And I thought our kickoff – team did a pretty good job we didn't kick it as well as we'd like to uh, our field goal team continues to get put points on the board so so good for Casey Legg on that but just a really a solid win overall and to, to get us to five wins and four in our conference and, and and keeps us in the hunt you know and we're heading into this bye week and I think I think everybody involved in our program is ready to kind of take a breath all right so questions first question is from Greg Hunter go ahead Greg the Neil start with the run game, especially Letty. When did you know he would play? Did you think he'd be as effective as he was? And then, like I said, after some struggles last week, your offensive line looked like they were much, much better this time out. Yeah, you know, when we came in here on Sunday and I saw Letty in the training room, um, Vince, Blinkenship, and, and that crew, they do. I think they do a great job. So a lot of credit to them. And then when I saw him on Sunday, he said, Coach, I'm going to play. And I said, well, I'm only going to play you if you're – I mean, if you're close to 100, percent that's the only way we're going to play you. Um, and I told him we're going, we'll take care of you, but you got to do your end of the bargain, which is put in the time, invest in the time to to get put yourself in a position to play. And he did, and and our training staff really worked with him to make that happen. Um, and then um, as the week went on, I thought by Wednesday he was he was running and able to change change uh, shift, you know, make some some football movements. I guess is the best way to put it. Uh, kind of running on the side, and so I felt good about it. And then he got the mental reps on Thursday and Friday, and he looked good in warm up. So we felt like it was he, he was he was ready to go. And, and I thought Sinkfield did a nice job too. He came in and played, and uh, Sink had a good week of practice. And but Letty 
Letty uh, had a nice job. I mean, if you look at it, 156 yards, six and a half. Um, I think he's not 100, percent but he's he was good enough. And um, I think if if he's 100, percent maybe he a couple of those balls that bounced, maybe he takes the house. But um, Greg, what was the second part of that question? Letty, and then oh, the O line on uh, uh, the run game. Um, really, last week we just didn't play fundamentally very sound in the run game. Um, kind of uh, got our weight forward, and we we really just missed a bunch. I mean, credit and like I said, ninety three really played well last week, uh, but fundamentally just weren't very good. Our head was down. Uh, we didn't drive our feet on contact, and so we just kind of went back to the basics this week, and and they played much better. Kevin Kinder. Neil, the sugar huddle that you used a lot of the times today, the idea behind that, uh, what you were trying to accomplish using that? Well, I think that defensively they do a really good job. And uh, you all heard me talk about it all week as far as um, just a lot of – I got a, I got a lot of respect um, for what Gary Patterson does defensively and really that entire staff. Um, and the thing with Gary is is – is if you if you get something, he does a really good job not letting you get it twice. Um, he does a really good job of trying to take away your best plays, um, and so we're really just trying to hide some formations by going into the by getting into that uh, the huddle. Old school might have to reintroduce that. Keenan Cummings. Hey Neil, TJ has really picked it up of late. You know, over the last three games, he has ten catches over two hundred. Uh, Touchdowns. Is that a matter of him really back healthy, or trying to feature him more, or, or how's how's that been developing? Well, I think part of it is handling handling his business and practicing better. Um, we've we've played a couple games here in a row where inside receivers could be featured maybe a little bit at a little bit higher rate. Um, I think Daggy trusts him to make contested catches. That's another piece of it. Um, but he has he's played well. Um, he had a good run last year uh, when he was healthy. He had a you know three or four five game run there where he he played at an extremely high level. I think that's the thing. He's got to take care of his body, um, and if he when he's able to do that and he's healthy, he's a really good, a really productive and good player in this league. Ryan Pritt is next. Hey Neil, you mentioned Tyke and Sean a little bit there a minute ago. Um, you know, Tyke had a few big hits on that very first drive. They were kind of driving down the field, and I thought that kind of threw him out of it a little bit. But, you know, along with Alonzo, that's 21 tackles, four pass breakups, an interception, and a fumble recovery. They've been big all year, but especially to date. Just what did you think of that group overall? Yeah, I think that that group kind of in the middle there, Taiki and Sean and Alonzo, um, I think they played at a high level. And, and y'all have heard me say this. I think I think Taiki Smith is a player. Like, I mean, he can play anywhere. And uh, I think that he's special at that position. And – uh, Sean Mahone has, has been really good here the last three weeks. And Alonzo, uh, for playing that position for the first time, continues to get better. we got to get some depth. we got to get some depth because they play every snap. Um, so we gotta we got to get some depth there. But I think those guys are playing at a high level for sure. Okay, we'll go to John Antonic. Hey, Coach, walk me through that opening series when you're on the one. Normally, you come out with a script. Did you stick to yeah. the script when you were at the one, or did you have to modify that a little bit? And the second part of that is it looked like you were able to get them outflanked a few times and take advantage of it before they were able to get adjusted. Well, so on the opening, now we, we did have an opening script, and that was kind of the shot play that we missed to Winston. That was going to be play one. Um, but we had we always have a coming off script. Um, and on this week, we worked it. Uh, more than we normally do just because their punter's so good. He's one of the best punters in the country. Um, and so we worked our coming off script a little bit more. Uh, so we did. We, we used our coming off, um, which we had a couple runs there we liked out of the out of the, the muddle huddle. Um, Letty kind of got us going. And then once we hit, I think, the first first down is when we were able to get into our opening script. And we, we were able to, to shift in motion and get a couple edges. Um, and we did, I just we just came back to it a couple times because I knew once they went to the sideline, they were going to get that fixed. Charles Montgomery. Coach, you emphasized the importance of being able to contain Max Duggan and his rushing ability throughout the week, and you guys did that today. What, was, what were you keying in on to do that? You really limited him. 
Well, I think we won some one-on-ones um, up front, and then we were able to tackle in space. So that, I think that was the key. He, he's a really good player. I mean, he made us miss a couple times, but um, we won some one-on-ones. I thought we covered them too. Um, and we did some things. We adjusted some of our rushing lanes to uh, to make sure he couldn't get outside. Go ahead, Cody Nesper. Neil, what, what was the key to pass protection today? And what has Jarrett done over the last month or so in terms of ball security to be so good? Yeah, so I think Jarrett is has played, um, I guess, really since the Baylor game. Um, I think he's played really well. And he's kind of under the radar, um, but he's played really, really well. And he's taken care of the football. Um, Decision-making has been really good. He had his best week of practice this week. His passing numbers don't show it just because we kind of took the air out of the ball in the second half. But he is he was really efficient today, never put the ball in jeopardy. Um, we left a couple plays out there probably, but really proud of how he's how he's playing, how he's managing the football game. We'll take these last four questions in the queue. Go ahead, Chris Anderson. Uh, coach, a couple of games ago at right tackle, Bryson Mays came in uh, for injured John Hughes. The next week, stuck with Mays. This week, Mays started, then switched to Moore. Were those two moves from Hughes to Mays and Mays more injury or performance related? And also, what did you think at first glance off the top of your head what Moore did today as a redshirt freshman? Yeah, so so John Hughes came out a couple weeks ago because he, he's banged up and he's still kind of um, – he's not 100%, so we haven't played him. That was the deal. Uh, and then Parker Moore has really, and y'all heard me talk about him a few weeks ago. Is he's a guy that we have, um, we believe in. We think he's going to be a really good player. Um, he's developing. He's still a redshirt freshman, um, and he's the last uh, two Monday. We play, and y'all hear me talk about Monday night football. That's what it is. Monday night football. Uh, we play our developmental guys and guys that aren't playing. And he's had two really good Monday night football scrimmages. Um, so he earned the right to get get an opportunity. He had a good week of practice. We put him out there. I don't even know what the reps are. I, sometimes sometimes Matt tells me uh, who he's got. Sometimes he doesn't. I know the plan going in the game was to play Parker, and and I know he did play. I don't I don't know what the rep distribution looks like right now though. Michael Sussman, uh, where do you put this defense all time in terms of the most dominant units that you've been around as a coach? Yeah, that, I, I think it'd probably be unfair for me to answer that right now, just because I think we're right in the middle of it. You know, I think those are, those kind of questions are for the end of the year. You know, we got two, hopefully three, three games left, um, and so I think that's the time. I'll, I'll say this: I think that um, the way we're playing, with the effort and the energy and the physicality, that's what we want to be about. I think we're really good up the middle. I think anytime you're really good up the middle, you got a chance. But I don't. I don't want to sit here. And, first of all, I hadn't seen all the West Virginia defenses, so I'd be ill-informed to do that. Um, you know, we had some. We had some good units at Troy. I'm not going to get into the comparison game, but I'll, I'll say this: I like the way we play right now. Go ahead, Mike Kazaza. You know, a lot of the the trademarks you've been talking about defensively, and then of late on offense, have been pretty consistent from first game until today. It just seems like you all are good at getting into your game, your style, whatever. It, things may vary. I get that, and that's football. But by and large, it's, it's fairly consistent. I'm wondering if you if you see some of that and, and how promising that is for this stage of your your climb here. Yeah, I I think it's promising. Yeah, I think it's promising. I think um, we really came into this season with the intention of being one of the most improved teams in the country. I believe we are one of the most improved teams in the country. Um, our last two home games, I think, really are um, kind of a, a picture of, of how we want to play the game. Um, the Kansas State game and this TCU game. We've had a couple road games, you know, the Oklahoma State and Texas game uh, for sure, where against teams that uh, really that are, are talented and highly ranked, where we were able to put ourselves in a position to win. Now we got to finish those games. Um, but, yeah, I think that we're, we're a young football team. We really are. I mean, TCU is as well. Uh, so um, we're figuring it out. I don't think we've arrived by any means, but I think we are figuring it out. And the product we put on the field today was was really good. And we'll finish up with John Antonic. Go ahead, John. Yeah, yeah, to play off of that, do you think maybe this is – you talked about the improvement. Is this maybe the tangible evidence that you're, we're seeing today with the improvement that you're making? Yeah, I, I 
to be honest with John, I think there's been tangible evidence all all year. Um, you know, if you – man, we got a chance to win every game with four minutes to go. We've had a chance. And now we didn't win three of them, and so we've got to get better, but we've had a chance to win every football game. Um, and that wasn't the case last year. You watch, you watched them all. I mean, we competed, but we weren't in we weren't in several games in, in, into the fourth quarter. And so, I think that um, I think some of it is 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 I think it's credit to our staff and our players how they handled um, the off time. Um, we were able to add a couple pieces that have, that have made a significant difference um, in recruiting, whether it's high school or transfer, whatever it was. I mean, they've made it significant. And then our guys are understanding the expectation and the standards that we have in all three phases. And and I think our culture is improving. It's not where exactly where we want it, but it's getting better. So I think it's kind of a culmination of everything.